Hey guys, what's going on? This is Unique Gamer Raju back with another video. And in this video, we can see this one OBS. We are going to make the OBS best settings 2017 uh, till date May 2017. So, as you can see on the top left side, it's OBS 19.0.2. I'm running it on 64 bit Windows 10. So, let's get into this one. So, first of all, uh, whenever you open this one, this is the interface right here. I just uh, pre disable my preview. Uh, you can also enable this one. Why? Because uh, see, you can see this one. So, I don't want to enable this one make the mess up on the screen so let me disable this preview as you can see on the top right side everything file edit uh, screen selection tools you don't need to do anything on the top so while coming to the down uh, they are the scene uh, sources you can see this one mixer about the volume everything and related uh, scene tra transitions so first one i'll just tell you I'm, i'll be using this one for my ps4 my pc or uh, window capture as well my facebook live so as of now i'm doing out on window capture and uh, you can just give any commands like that whatever you want i recommend you to put separately so that it'll be easy for you like if at all you stream from ps4 or pc or you just want to do window capture you just need to put it separately so that it'll be easy and uh, it will look very nice for you so first of all i'm just showing you my window capture this one so i uh, i use my logitech c920 pro here as you can see i use my logitech c920 pro camera this one is logitech c920 pro camera you can just plug in play, I mean like just plug it and play, that's it, okay. Just click on this one, properties. <clears throat> so it lasts for the device, so how to get this one? So just click on this add sources, uh, you can add a video capture device here. And uh, when you click on the video capture device, it asks you to, I mean like, what you want to insert this one, I mean like Elgato capture card, uh, uh, if you have some uh, separate like C20, I'm having Logitech C90 Pro, so you can select uh, anything what you want. But this all already uh, saved at once, so I'm just showing you this one. You can, you, you can add anything like that. Then after that, I added my Blue Yeti microphone also, as you can see this one. So you just need to plug in like this. Uh, just click on the add button. Uh, for this one, you just need to click on the audio input capture, this one. So once you click this one, you can see uh, any external uh, audio devices. This one, this one is my Blue Yeti microphone, as you can see. You can add the existing one also. So like that, I click that and also a given commands your stream lab commands you can also click on this one browser source for giving commands like uh, for getting uh, stream overlays or something like a subscriber alerts or recent for subscribers something like that uh, you just need to click on the add button browser sources here you can see this browser source just click on that and you can get the uh, links from the stream labs or you just need to register in stream labs to get the notification notification of the subscriber alerts so that is a very good feature and uh, like that you have to do so I've already added my Streamlabs here and this is my display capture, presently it's uh, capturing my display, total display of my screen. So I'll just show you my PS4s also. And you can also do any uh, any settings, like you can also add uh, text plus GDI, uh, I'll just show you how to do this one, text plus GDI means. You can add anything like, uh, if at all you're doing any giveaway or something like that, let's see. Yeah, I'm doing a giveaway, 2000 subscribers, so. As you people can see, 2000 subscribers give away. 3 lucky winners will be getting the game of the choice. So any of, I mean like, you can do anything, whatever you want. Uh, you can add overlays, you can add commands, anything for, for your stream. So the stream will be looking very awesome. And you can also change the font. Very, very good features are, you can also change the font. So I use Cosmic Sandmoss. This is very good font. And uh, you can also change the font color as well as the background color. You can see this one. And the uh, gradient color. I mean like, uh, it. I mean like the... What do we say that the font gets glow up you can see on the top here right here everything i mean like seems to be really awesome natural colors everything you can do from this one this is really awesome feature from obs i really love this one okay then after that click on okay and you can also add a uh, stream labs so i already uh, you just need to register in the stream labs to get the subscriber notification uh, i use recent four subscribers as well as blue ready microphone elgato capture card so uh, presently i'm doing from the window capture so right uh, let's go here you can add anything, I mean like the uh, web camera, audio device like VRD microphone or any microphone, you can, uh, it's up to you guys, you can add. Uh. So these are the best settings for May 2017 so far, I'm just uh, showing you guys. So this side, everything has been completed right now, let's move on to the settings right now. So uh, uh, let's go on to the move on to the settings right now, as you can see here, uh, let's click on the settings. So as I open my settings here, as you can see the first one is the general tab here. First one is the general tab. You don't need to do anything in the general tab. Uh, by default, the theme will be default theme. The default theme is white, so this is not good. Let's move it to dark. Dark is really awesome. So that is the best one in this. So nothing so special in this one. 
Uh, I just uh, put a tick mark for this automatically record when streaming. Everything is default. Uh, you can also copy paste. Just pause the video and you can copy paste, brothers, all of you. This is really uh, very good. So only I kept like automatically record when streaming. Why? Because I have a very high configured PC. So I do record as well as stream at the same time. Why? Because if at all the game goes well for me so that I can edit the video and put it again like offline videos. So that is the best feature in this one. So this is for the first settings general one. Let's go to the stream settings. Uh, you can also give, uh, give your, I mean like you can also stream from the Twitch, Facebook. See, look at this one. Streaming services. You can also uh, stream from Facebook, Twitch as well as YouTube. Anything. You just need to use the custom. I'm using custom server right now. So you just need to, this, uh, this link you can get it from the YouTube live streaming uh, web page. I just copy this one and uh, you also have the stream key over there. You just need to copy and paste this one. Do not show this stream key to anyone. Okay. So that... Uh, they might hack your account so do not show this stream key to anybody so you just need to copy and paste this one over here then after that uh, let's go to the output settings so, so output settings presently i'm using advanced mode as you can see here i'm just recording from this one only so i can't use anything of these sources i'm using this advanced sources so for, presently i'm streaming uh, for my streaming uh, you can see this audio track is one encoder i'm using nvenc h264 this is my graphic card uh, my graphic card is uh, MSI 1060, 6GB uh, graphic card. This is really awesome. And uh, I just bought it for 21,000 Indian INR, Indian rupees. And just put a tick mark for this one. N4 streaming uh, service encoder setting. This one, put a tick mark for this one. V scale output is 1920 by 1080p. I, I stream at 1920 by 1080p. If you people are comfortable with uh, 1280 by 720p, uh, you can also go with that. Why? Because some people will be having uh, low configuration PCs. So I recommend you, if at all you have some low configuration PC, then you uh, recommend you to go with the 1280 by 720. That is also very good. And uh, I mean, like you can also uh, get the very good, lot of very good pixels in that. So no need to worry to go with all the time 1920 by 1080p. You might get a lag over there. So the rate of control I use this one is CBR. I use CBR constant bit rate. So as of now, I'm streaming on 1920 by 1080p. So I use 4600 bitrate. You can use it until uh, 9000 or you can also extend, but I don't want to extend. Uh, 4600 is a constant bitrate. I mean, like it takes like uh, 4.5, 4.6 Mbps continuously speed from your internet. So if at all you put a high, uh, higher bitrate, then uh, if you don't have a very good internet connection, uh, sometimes the internet get uh, fluctuated, right? So users might get lag issue there so i don't want to get them the lag issue so i, I put the constant rate like 4600 so the stream will be running very much smoothly all the time and uh, while coming to the screen frame is zero uh, preset is low latency high quality okay this one you just need to take for this one this is low latency and high quality this is best for this one profile is main level is auto and you can also put the uh, same this one uh, okay just leave this one everything should be same uh, just copy brothers just copy and paste everything both the same and while coming to this record, this is important brothers, all of you look at this one, this is important recording, uh, because it will be recording in the background. I'm doing only recording because my PC is high configured, so if you people are having the same, uh, you can also proceed with that to, to get a very good quality in the recording. Streaming doesn't get a very good quality, I mean like, if you want to record in the background, I'll just tell you, these are the best settings to record in the background with a very good quality. And the file size will be high, you, if you want to, you can edit or delete the video, so. A standard type is standard and recording path is as your choice i just put it my not the local drive put it from some other drive why because do not save it in windows drive a recording path should be strictly mp4 why because mp4 is really uh, very easy to edit the videos so we'll put it for mp4 audio track is one uh, i'm using the encoder same for this one also why because nvidia can handle this one same thing uh nv ehc x264 then after that, I stream at exactly 920, 1920 by 1080p. This one is the same. Put the tick mark for this one. Put the audio track tick mark for this one. And after that, uh, just leave this alone. So right now, you can see this one, the rate constant, sorry, rate control. <clears throat> Over here, also, you just need to click on the CBR. Here, I've selected 50,000 bit rate. Uh, you can also select 60,000 bit rate. So that the, uh, the more you increase the bit rate, the more file size will be increasing. So 50,000 is much better. I'll check the quality also. That is really awesome. If at all you get some very good 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 play only then only you just need to edit the video or else it's up to you i, I just put it for 50,000 bit rate i mean like it almost takes for one hour video 50 gb so it depends upon you if you want to save it i mean like if you if at all you record like one hour of uh, gameplay then it almost takes like 50 gb so it's up to you guys it's up to you and after that reset is same the low latency high quality 
profile is main level is auto and use time encoding this is same uh, just copy and paste uh, uh, both of the settings then while coming to this audio uh, as you can see on the top uh, they are like 44 hertz and 48 hertz so i selected 48 hertz why because i'm using this blue 80 microphone right here blue 80 microphone studio microphone right so we just need to put it for 48 kilohertz after putting this one you just need to change the setting also here uh, just uh, look at this one the speaker just right click on that one now click on the right recording devices so i'm using blue 80 microphone external microphone right so as you can see uh, blue 80 microphone is here default microphone so right click on this one properties then after that you can see uh, my microphone over here the second option is listen uh, just leave this one alone no need levels is 100 percent put it as 100 percent i'll just show you there's also very good feature in this one noise gate is there i'll just show you show you and while coming to the advanced tab uh, by default you'll be having this one 44 hertz 4400 hertz so you just need to change it to 48000 hertz yeah, so that is a dvd quality you'll be getting the crispy uh, crispy sound from the mic so, so this is the best thing to do and uh, channels is stereo i didn't set up anything right here why because you can also set up on the main page i'll just show you there audio settings uh, leave this default uh, desktop audio is disabled disabled everything is disabled I, do, I don't want to use the settings here why uh, because uh, i'll be just showing you uh, i'm using this one mixer settings over here we be just uh, telling you how to use that so this is about the mic uh, audio sorry then after that video while coming to the video as you can see i'm streaming uh, as well as recording at 1920 by 1080p both of them are same i mean release rescale output also and the uh, land school sharpen scaling is 32 sample uh, if at all you have the low configuration pc you can just go for the 16 samples also that is also much perfect then after that fps is 60 fps it depends upon your capture card <clears throat> i stream from elgato hd 60 pro so that's why i'm using high configurations everything and these are the settings for the videos and uh, while coming to the hotkeys i do not prefer any hotkeys i do it manually everything so i don't know any settings of this one so i don't i mean like uh, i'll not recommend you any of the settings so just leave this while coming to the advanced tab uh, as you can see on the top uh, this is a process priority i just put it on above normal it's up to you if your pc can handle much more pressure then you can put it on above normal it's up to you guys you can put it also normal why because i'm streaming at 1920 by 1080p right so that's why i want to put it above normal why because uh, PC, is, uh, PC takes some more pressure, so I just want to put it to about normal. And after that, rendering at uh, 3D X11. Just copy, guys. Just copy everything. What is there here? Why? Because actually, I'm recording it from the same place from the OBS. So these are not highlighted right here. And YUV color range should be 709. And uh, I'll tell you one more thing. Uh, YUV color range should be partial. Color space is 709. Look at here. Uh, it will be full also here uh, I, I do not recommend full uh, put it to partial it will be very uh, very good quality here color format is nv12 this is really awesome and just copy everything guys these are the default i didn't even change any of the settings everything is default everything is default so these are the best settings for obs 2017 and let's just show you one more settings here and as you can see this desktop audio on the top mixer and you can see this logitech also c20 i mean like it also records the audio so just uh, disable the audio from there why because you'll be getting uh, echo from the sound and already i have connected here my blue ready microphone you can connect it like this one from this source just add audio input capture <clears throat> you can also add uh, i mean like you can also rename something like that so i'm using blue ready microphone right now so i already added blue ready if at all you add uh, then you'll be getting here blue ready microphone as you can see here and i'll be showing this noise gate settings for this one these are the best noise gate settings i'll be showing you i will show you I'm already using a table fan uh, right back of me. You people cannot hear me, the table fan. So I'll be just showing you the settings right now. First, click on the properties. Uh, so on properties, nothing is there, only the microphone, Blu-ray microphone. Just click on the filters for this one. And filters, just you just need to copy everything, whatever I done. Just click on the filters. So I use three, uh, three of them for this one, noise suppression. Noise suppression, I kept it for minus 60. By default, you'll be having minus 30, I guess. I put it for minus 60. And noise gate, uh, just copy this guy. Just copy my noise gate. Why? Because this is the best settings I'm using. Uh, noise gate, just copy everything. I mean, like, uh, the open threshold should be minus 26. Uh, close threshold should be minus 32. So that you don't get any uh, lag in the sound or something like that. If at all you turn around or something like that, everything will be crystal clear. And... Uh, 
and attack time is uh, i didn't change any of this thing by default it be uh, same only so do not touch this one and also while coming to the gain i think uh, gain also i didn't touch anything by uh, default it be zero so leave it to zero if your mic doesn't take audio uh, perfectly then you can change the gain also here if at all you increase the gain then you get a lot of background noise so i don't want to increase the gain so that's the best feature over here and as you people can see i'm using blue yeti microphone right here and if at all you people are using the blue yeti microphone you use the uh, back side you have this one scope use it to heart symbol cardiac heart symbol and uh, uh, what do we say this pattern is the heart symbol and the gain should be at zero uh, that's it uh, and these are the best settings for my obs anything related to obs if you people having any doubt regarding this uh, software you can please message me i hope you guys enjoy my video see you guys bye bye have a great day yeah.